the News Nightcast. Good evening, I'm Erica Bivens. It's the second fatal crash on Highway 109 in two days. This morning, a Starks man was killed, two others injured, following a two-vehicle crash about six miles north of Starks. State police responded to Highway 109 just after 6 a.m. The investigation revealed 22-year-old Trey Jones of Starks was traveling north on the highway when, for unknown reasons, crossed the center line, striking 41-year-old Jonathan Says of Starks head-on. Says was pronounced dead at the Scene. A passenger in his truck transported with moderate injuries. Jones was transported from the scene with serious injuries. A toxicology sample was obtained from the drivers. The crash remains under investigation. Well, today marks the 11th anniversary of Hurricane Rita making landfall in southwest Louisiana. Rita changed the landscape of our area significantly with its winds of 115 miles per hour at landfall in the early morning hours of Saturday, September 24, 2005. The damage Rita brought is still seen today, especially along the coastline where nature's barriers have been destroyed. Hoping to change that, Sitco and the Coalition to Restore Coastal Louisiana partnered up for the third year in a row to plant plugs of seagrass along Holly Beach. This year, along with students from McNeese and some local high schools, the group planted 28,000 plugs along two miles of beach. I believe, you know, we're making a difference. So hopefully, you know, in the future, our kids are coming back here and can see, uh, you know, the cost of the city area. Right Over the past three years, 160,000 plugs have been planted. The grass will help restore the natural habitat as well as restore sand dunes that are so crucial to protection from storms. The annual planting is part of Sitgo's Caring for Our Coast initiative, started in 2014 to commemorate Hurricanes Katrina and Rita. Hard to believe it's already been 11 years. Huh? 11 years since mm -hmm. we've seen a, a significant hurricane, right. and it's true. I mean, we haven't seen a major hurricane in the whole United States in 11 years. It was actually Wilma in 2005, which came right after Rita. That was our last major hurricane to strike the United States. So we're in a big hurricane drought, but we're not complaining, and we're also in a drought of cooler weather. Same old story on our temperature map tonight. Everybody's sitting in the 70s, and even still some 80s on that board. 82 sitting in Cameron. Lake Charles coming in at 76. Sulfur? You're only one degree off of being in the 80s at this point. Looking at Storm Vision HD, there's no rain out there right now. There was a few showers and downpours out there this afternoon, but they were more missed than hit, that is for sure. And that's going to be the story as we continue into the second half of the weekend. It's not so much for Sunday that we're going to see some, say, weather changes. It's going to be more so for Monday. There's a look out of our Derrida Sky Cam. The usual summer night. Yes, I'm calling it a summer night because look at these temperatures through the overnight hours. Struggling to fall much below the middle 70s. Very warm, very humid, but changes are coming in the form of cooler weather. I'll tell you when all of that's going to make it here in just a few minutes. All right, thanks a lot, Zach. Well, the 25th annual Midnight Fantasies Car and Truck Show is underway this weekend at the Civic Center. It's a 1923 Ford T-Bucket. Car enthusiasts can check out more than 300 vehicles, everything from classic antiques to more modern rides with custom paint jobs. Admission is $10 for adults, kids ages 10 and under get in free. All money raised benefits Colors for a Cause, which helps local families with children battling cancer. Show information and hours are posted at kplctv.com. The Christus St. Patrick Hospital Foundation, meanwhile, hosts their sixth annual Run with the Nuns charity ride and cook-off this morning. Hundreds gathered at the Lake Charles Civic Center Amphitheater for the event this year in honor of former Westlake football coach Max Carrera. Hundreds of bikers and an entourage of Jeeps with the Seven Slot Society led Saturday morning's Run with the Nuns charity ride. Escorted by the Blue Knights and local law enforcement agencies, each one blessed by Father Brian King's holy water as they rode by. The event kicked off Christus St. Patrick's sixth annual charity ride and cook-off this year in honor of Coach Max Calderera, the former Westlake High School football coach. We lost my dad on March 28th due to a cardiac event. This year we are dedicating all the proceeds in his honor to develop our new surgical uh, hybrid suite specifically for our car, uh, regional cardiac center. The suite will be made possible in part from proceeds of Saturday's Family Fun Day. Brown steak and seasoning. Which included a rice and gravy cook-off. This right here, number one. This is number one. Ten teams Everybody battling for bragging rights. We love our sheriff. We do. We do. We do. We do. Hey. But before the judging could begin, 
Westlake cheerleaders welcome back riders after their 96 mile charity run. Even a few sisters went along for the ride. How was it? It was wonderful and we had a good ride. Riding, eating, <laughs> face painting. It's pretty cool. And live music. All to raise money and awareness for a local cause. I thought it was a great chance to bring awareness to the community on um, heart health. I promise you that food was delicious. And you can find those cook-off winners listed in this story at kplctv.com or on your 7 News mobile app. And another benefit today, Great Strides hosted a 5K walk at Walnut Grove to raise money for those battling cystic fibrosis. The event also featured a children's area, jambalaya cook-off, and live music from Young Band Nation. The walking route had opportunities for participants to win prizes there as well. Organizers say their goal was to raise $50,000. So far, they've raised a little more than $33,000. For more information on how you can donate, head to kplctv.com. So you've always wanted to know what it takes to be a cop. Coming up, we'll show you the recruits who showcase their willpower to try. Stay with us. This is what precision feels like. Magnetic ride control actively monitors road conditions a thousand times per second to deliver a comfortable ride. A thousand times, huh? Yeah, per second. This is the new 2016 Sierra Denali from GMC. This is the precision of professional grade. It's the GMC 2016 model year sell down. Now get 20% below MSRP on select Sierra 1500 models in stock. That's over $10,300 on this Sierra SLT crew. See your GMC dealer for these and other offers. Taste of Italy event at Kroger. It's incredible. They have all these authentic ingredients and Italian products paired together, so it's easy to enjoy real Italian flavor. Buon appetito. This looks amazing. Mangiamo. Come celebrate Italian cuisine and get a package of DiMartino pasta free when you buy Orti di Italia pasta sauce. The Taste of Italy event on now at Kroger. Technology is a living thing. It listens to us. How may I help you? It shows us the way. It expands our mind and gives us vision where once we had none. This is how civilization moves forward. This is how we get coffee. The 2016 Corolla. Technology on a whole other level. Right now, get $1,500 customer cash. Or qualified buyers get 0% APR financing for 72 months on a stylish new 2016 Corolla. Toyota, let's go places. Charles Police Department hosted its third recruitment day this morning at the Civic Center where they worked to learn who had what it takes to become a police officer. KPLC's Miranda Whittington has more on the types of officers the department is looking to hire. And I can guarantee you having done lots of other stuff in my life besides being an officer is the best and most rewarding job you will ever have in your life. And with those words, men and women from around the area were up bright and early Saturday for Lake Charles Police Department's recruitment day. We're looking for motivated, intelligent, hardworking individuals uh, who are looking to make a difference in their community. Department recruiter Corporal Larry Moss says recruitment days like this give the department a chance to hire more people interested in becoming a police officer. The way that it was done prior to our recruiting day was the individual had to approach the police department. Uh, on the upside, that really gave us a group of individuals that were motivated and really wanted to be police officers and it would kind of put the burden on them uh, and I guess by doing the recruiting day we've kind of taken the burden so so to speak off of the applicant and put it more on on us uh, to open it up to, to more folks individuals had to pass a PT test which consisted of an 800 meter run push all the way through four twenty six sit ups and push-ups. Yeah. 
in order to move on to the psychological screening, which takes up the rest of the day. Moss and the rest of the department use these recruitment events to find the best candidates and hope the public will help push qualified applicants to these events as well. We put forth 110 percent effort find the highest quality officers that we can find to fill our uniforms, patrol their streets, and keep them safe. Um, and any help that, that the citizens can give as far as directing young individuals towards that path that they're interested in law enforcement, guide them in the right direction, put them on the right path. Uh, get them to us by the time they turn 21 where, where we can actually utilize them as a, as a quality police officer. At your service, Miranda Whittington, KPLC 7 News. Now, those who make the cut and are hired in November then go through an extensive training process and are expected to be out on the force by December of next year. Coming up next in HealthCast, a new study that gives the possibility of making organ recipients more vulnerable to the effects of the sun. We'll explain how right after this. Right now at Billy Navarre Certified Pre-Owned in Lake Charles. Get our lowest prices ever on everything in stock. Wow! And choose from Billy Navarre Certified Pre-Owned's best selection ever. All with low monthly payments. Wow! At Billy Navarre Certified Pre-Owned in Lake Charles. It's time to take a road trip. Burn rubber for Birmingham. Where you can feed your need for speed at Barber Motorsports Park and Museum. Now this gets my motor running. Meet Iron Man. Hey there, big guy. And make a date with your nine iron. Feed the animals at the zoo and the birds. Then enjoy the award-winning restaurant scene. Alabama has a road trip with your name on it. Which one you gonna take? This is what precision feels like. Magnetic ride control actively monitors road conditions a thousand times per second to deliver a comfortable ride. A thousand times, huh? Yep. Per second. This is the new 2016 Sierra Denali from GMC. This is the precision of professional grade. It's the GMC 2016 model year sell down. Now get 20% below MSRP on select Sierra 1500 models in stock. That's over $10,300 on this Sierra SLT crew. See your GMC dealer for these and other offers. KPLC and the Diamond Durrell's Diamond Team want to make your day sparkle. Enter our giveaway and you could win a Ronaldo Power of Prayer bracelet valued at $70. Log on to kplctv.com and click on the contest page to enter today. I'm sitting on the old bandstand in the old BFW hall located on Legion Street right across from Chenault Air Base. It's now our used car facility. A lot of old timers have told me the same thing, if these walls could talk. Come see the massive selection of cars, trucks, and SUVs. You will find over 50 vehicles under $10,000. Stop by today and browse the lot or our indoor showroom to find the vehicle that you've been looking for. For a slice of Lake Charles history, come see us at Kia of Lake Charles, the home of the nice guys. Junior high students, if you like McNeese football, you could be a junior captain at the next home game. Get your parents to go to the contest page on kplctv.com to enter. Don't just go to the game, be a part of it. The KPLC Cowboy Junior Captain is sponsored by Nissan of Lake Charles. For only $29.95, get an unlimited monthly car wash fast pass at Billy Navarre Quick Living Car Wash. That's right, for only $29.95, get unlimited monthly car washes that include all of these wonderful amenities and come as many times a month as you like at Billy Navarre Quick Living Car Wash. Patients who undergo an organ transplant may have an increased risk of developing skin cancer. A new study from Drexel University found this risk applies to all transplant patients, even Hispanics and African Americans. Researchers say anti-rejection medications, which suppress the immune system, may make organ recipients more vulnerable to the effects of the sun. They recommend total body skin exams become a routine part of post-transplant care. And a new study suggests a healthy diet may help young children become better readers. Researchers in Finland looked at the diets of over 100 first, second, and third graders, as well as their standardized reading scores. Well, they found students' reading skills improved more when their diets included more vegetables, fruit, and fish, and less red meat and sugar. Cat scratch fever is usually a mild condition that's treated with an antibiotic, but it can sometimes lead to serious illness. Officials with the Centers for Disease Control say about 500 of the 12,000 Americans infected each year must go to the hospital. The bacteria, which is transmitted through a cat scratch or bite, can affect the brain and bones and even cause eye infections. Cat scratch fever almost sounds like a jam or a tune out there, Zach. In all the videos, they like cats like <laughs> sleeping, you know, rather than be like, <laughs> be a little bit different, but... 
Yes, you know, cat scratch fever is a thing, unfortunately. Let me show you these high temperatures for today because you know what is a thing? The heat. It's been like this for six months. It's time to change things and it's going to change. I'll show you when coming up after the break. Honda knows that every road trip is an opportunity to rise to the challenge. Especially when you're outnumbered. That's why the Odyssey Special Edition comes with a rear entertainment system and a built-in vacuum. The Honda Mac. More affordable features that make any family trip friendlier on everyone. Nothing compares to a Honda. The Honda Odyssey, the best-selling minivan in America. When you're fighting breast cancer, there are so many things to worry about. How to pay the bills shouldn't be one of them. The Ethelprecht Hope Breast Cancer Walk helps local women fighting breast cancer cover some of the expenses they have to face. Everything from having enough gas to get to a doctor's appointment, purchasing mastectomy supplies. Join us at the Lake Charles Civic Center October 15th. Registration starts at 7 and the walk kicks off at 8.30. To find out more, give us a call. Reward yourself with the biggest savings of the year on the cars, trucks, and SUVs from the most awarded car company two years in a row, Chevrolet. Save thousands now with final model year closeout prices in effect on Shady Power's number one domestic brand for quality. Like the Chevy Malibu, the most dependable mid-sized car, and the Chevy Silverado, the most dependable HD pickup. So save thousands now with final model year closeout prices in effect at your Lake Charles area Chevy dealers. Get local alerts before severe weather strikes. Severe weather alerts, live radar, and a local weather forecast. Download the KPLC First Alert Weather app today. This is what precision feels like. Magnetic ride control actively monitors road conditions a thousand times per second to deliver a comfortable ride. A thousand times, huh? Yep. Per second. This is the new 2016 Sierra Denali from GMC. This is the precision of professional grade. It's the GMC 2016 model year sell down. Now get 20% below MSRP on select Sierra 1500 models in stock. That's over $10,300 on this Sierra SLT crew. See your GMC dealer for these and other offers. The Seven Storm Team Sky Cam Network is sponsored by Billy Navarre. With quick service and low prices, we challenge any dealer in America to beat. The Seven Storm Team Personal Forecast is sponsored by Home Building Materials, Home Furniture, Mazda of Lake Charles, and Lakeside Bank. From the Seven Storm Team, your first alert weather with meteorologist Zach Fredella. I've been hearing the complaints, and I agree with you that we just need some kind of reprieve from this heat. And it's not coming anytime soon, at least, say, for the rest of the weekend. But after that, that's when changes are certainly going to start to roll in. A look out of our Lake Charles Sky Cam. We're looking at the flag at Memorial Park, and everything is really quiet outside right now. We have no rain to worry about, but we do have the heat and humidity even during the evening hours. Look at these temperatures. Some close to still 80 degrees. Sulfur's one of them. Near 80 at 79. Dritter's actually warmer than Lake Charles right now, sitting at 77 degrees and there's that one degree lower in Lake Charles at 76. Look at that dew point, 74. I want to draw your attention to that dew point because that will be heading down because we're going to get some northerly winds over the coming days. Not until after the weekend. That's the problem. Like I said, there's no rain out there. It's very quiet on radar. It really was a quiet day on radar. We had a few downpours. Some locations did see some rain, but they were mainly confined to I-10 pointing south. Most northern spots, you really didn't get anything at all. And I think that trend is going to continue as we head into your day on your Sunday. There will be spotty afternoon storms, but there will be more, say, miss rather than hit. Slowly, our rain chances are going to go up, and there's a reason why. And I'll show you here across the southeast United States, it's just warm everywhere. And you think we have it bad. We're sitting at 76 degrees right now. Let's go up north. Memphis, 85 right now. Little Rock, 80 degrees right now. We're not the only ones baking just because we're down along the Gulf. It's very warm up north, too. But look what's coming into the western United States. There's something obvious over here. There's an, obviously a cold front somewhere in here. We have 40s. We have 50s in Denver. We've had some snow in the mountains across the western United States. That air is coming to us. It's going to take a little time, but 
I'm going to show you when it's going to get here in just one second. As we go into your Sunday, much of the same story. Now, Futurecast is picking up on a lot of rain, especially offshore. I think what's going to happen is the same story as today. Southeastern Texas, much better rain chance, while those rain chances quickly drop off the farther, say, north and east you go from southeastern Texas. Still going to put in about a 30% coverage, which is those spotty storms. Not everybody's going to get them, but like I said, there's going to be more sunshine rather than storms in the way for tomorrow. Hopefully we get some clouds like we saw this afternoon to kind of cool things off just a little bit even though it didn't rain. Monday, that's when we start to really watch this front because it starts to move into northern Louisiana. And by Monday evening, it's going to be close enough that we're going to spark a few extra storms in that forecast for Monday. But then Monday night, it sweeps on through. And then Tuesday, we're just left with some lingering clouds and we get our northerly winds. Northerly winds are going to bring the cooler and drier air into the region. And I think it's going to stay like that maybe all the way through next weekend. Looking at the tropics, Lisa is falling apart out in the middle of Atlantic. Carl heading out to sea, but there's something down to the south. That's something we're going to have to watch because we could have some kind of tropical system developing in the Caribbean as we head into the end of next week. And speaking of the end of next week, look at all that sunshine. Once we get past some lingering clouds on Tuesday, it's just beautiful from Wednesday, maybe all the way through next Sunday. Yes, it's still warm in the afternoon hours in the lower 80s, but overnight lows in the 50s and 60s with dry, cooler air. We certainly need it. We just have two more days to go, and we will feel that niceness outside. And it'll finally feel like fall. Yeah. All right. Well, turning over to sports, Mike, Auburn and LSU down to the wire. Tonight. That one was absolutely crazy. So I know Zach was watching the finish with me tonight. That absolutely dramatic, as you'll see in college football for a finish coming up. We'll show you the wild play, the end of the game in Auburn. Plus, McNeese on the road tonight at Incarnate Word in San Antonio. We'll roll the highlights coming up next in the Weather Watcher Network is sponsored by Mark Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Save thousands now at Billy Navarre Chevrolet with final model year closeout prices. On the most awarded cars, trucks, and SUVs now two years running. And J.D. Power's number one domestic brand for quality. At Billy Navarre Chevrolet in Lake Charles and Sulphur. Sarah got another promotion at work. I could care less. You mean it couldn't care less? That's what I said. No, you said could care less. Same thing. Could care less means you still care a little. But I don't. Exactly. Couldn't care less. Get into and out of life's tight spaces with the 2016 RAV4 with bird's eye view camera. Right now, get $1,000 customer cash or qualified buyers get 0% APR for 60 months on the adventurous 2016 RAV4. Toyota, let's go places. A child is diagnosed with autism every few hours, but there is hope in early intervention. Saturday, October 8th, Hope Has Wheels. Join KPLC and hundreds of cyclists for Wheels of Hope charity bike tour, benefiting the St. Nicholas Center. Ride one of five fully supported routes and experience the natural beauty of Calcasieu Parish. After the ride, we'll be serving up a taste of Louisiana. To register or to find out how you can help, visit us at wheelsofhopelc.com. Hey, honey, mm. you remember to look the Buick, right? I'll never forget that. The My Buick app, now available in every Buick. You close all the apartment windows, too. Come on. Really? You're the best. Mm. Get 20% below MSRP on select Encore models in stock. That's nearly 5,600 below MSRP on this Encore. See your Buick dealer for these and other offers. Don't start your day without KPLC 7 News Sunrise. Our morning starts with yours. Save thousands now at Billy Navarre Chevrolet with final model year closeout prices. On the most awarded cars, trucks, and SUVs now two years running. And J.D. Power's number one domestic brand for quality at Billy Navarre Chevrolet in Lake Charles and Sulphur. Get local alerts before severe weather strikes. Severe weather alerts, live radar, and a local weather forecast. Download the KPLC First Alert weather app today. Where local sports come first. Sun Sports with Mike Gaither. Well, LSU fans are all in on Danny Etling after his successful relief appearance against Jacksonville State and a win against Mississippi State last week. Now the road got tougher tonight playing in Auburn. And how would he fear or fare tonight in a chaotic Jordan-Hare Stadium? Danny Etling warming up for his first start in the SEC. LSU trailed 
three nothing in the first. Darius Geis trying to change that. Breaks off a big run in the open field. 52 yards total. The Tigers, they get down to the red zone. Third down now. Same drive. Danny Ellick scrambling. Where do I go? Hey, how about that guy right there? Foster Morrow, the sophomore tight end, scores from three yards out. After further review, he did cross the plane. LSU would take a 7-3 lead. Third quarter now. LSU down 12-10. Arden Key declared he'd get 20 sacks on this season, and he's getting closer every game. Forces the sack and fumble. Devon Gottschall will recover. That led to an LSU field goal later. In the fourth, we go. It was a big night for kicker, kicker Daniel Carlson, 29-yarder. Ties the school record with six field goals. Arvin takes an 18-13 lead. Here's where it got wild. Five seconds of play. Danny Etling to Traven Durrell on fourth down. That would stop the play clock with one second left. Next play, Etling scrambling, trying to buy some time. Finds DJ Chark in the corner of the end zone. LSU thinks they won it. But after further review, officials ruled Etling had not gotten the snap off in time for the play to count. LSU absolutely shocked by Auburn tonight, 8-13 the final from Jordan-Hare Stadium. And let's head out to San Antonio now. McNeese and Incarnate Word in the first. Cardinals, they strike first. Trent Brennan airs it out deep to Jordan Hicks, who hauls it in for a touchdown, 7 nothing. Cardinals still in the first, though. McNeese in the red zone. Handoff to Ryan Ross. Bulldozes his way into the end zone. We're all tied up at 7. Later in the first half, McNeese's defense struggled late in the game, but they come alive here. Ed Duplass comes down with the interception. Cardinals. They're deep in Cardinals territory. That led to another Cowboys touchdown. And check this out. Before the half, Khalil Thomas back to return for the Pokes. And he gone untouched, 97 yards to the house. Second longest kick return in McNeese history. Incarnate Word would score 24th quarter points. But McNeese, they barely hang on tonight. 42-35, the final. And let's take a look around Louisiana Air College scoreboard. La Tech falls tonight on the road in the in-state rivalry. UL Lafayette trailing Tulane late in the fourth. Nichols also falls to South Alabama in overtime tonight while Southeastern gets their first W on the year over Northwestern State. In the SWAC, both Grambling and Southern with blowout victories. Now on to the NFL, 1-2 and two is certainly not where the Saints want to be, but it sure beats the alternative of falling to 0-3 into an 0-3 hole, which could be a catastrophic start to a season that hasn't even reached October. That's why Monday night is about as close to a must-win as possible for a Week 3 game in the NFL. Playing scared to lose can actually prevent a team from winning, thus the Saints must play with a sense of urgency, but be fearful that they can begin to press. Sean Payton thinks his team's mindset is the correct one. I don't see that uh, as an issue. Our focus and attention to detail has been good. Uh, guys are working hard and preparing hard. I, I think more than anything, you know, there's there's that sense of frustration after a tough loss like that, no different than the week before. But I think they know when we're playing a division team here Monday night, you know, against Atlanta, these games have been close. That in itself is uh, the the whole reason you're you're working hard and and you understand the importance of the game. So uh, I, I don't sense that at all. And of course, back to LSU, they're now two and two for the first time since 2001, and you got to be able to take some shots in the end zone. They had two tries and failed to take a shot. And then the final play of the game, they were unable to get that snap off. Blaycock runs out, and then you lose the game. So not looking good for uh, Les Miles. Both those two coaches on the hot seat. Oh and now boy. Les Miles certainly a little bit hotter after tonight's loss. Well, sticking with sports in kind of a different light, finally tonight, University of Wisconsin forward Nigel Hayes made good on a bet. Hayes, along with fellow Wisconsin teammates and coaches, passed out donuts to students outside Kohl Center this afternoon. Last week, Hayes bet his fellow students couldn't buy up the entire allotment of men's basketball student season tickets in less than five minutes. He promised to bring donuts to every student if he lost that bet. Well, he actually did lose that bet, selling out 2,100 season tickets. At least he hmm. did the bet. That's right. Let's take a look at the seven-day real fast, and you can see Tuesdays when the cool air comes in. It's going to be with us from Wednesday through next weekend. All right. We'll see you back here tomorrow at 5. As always, thanks for tuning in. Get your news on the go.